thought I'd go through with you how I prepare the mix that actually goes into the feeder. Pretty simple really. First of all, one pint baked tub into the, uh, into the bucket that I prepared earlier. As you can see, that's still quite dry. Now, through the session, I like to mix up the way that I feed my ground bait. So I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket by having it too dry or even worse, like too wet. So what I like to do is start off just a pint, nice little handful of pellets, two mils, a few four mils, and just mix that around like that. Now, that is quite dry. Definitely want it a little bit more wetter. So I'll just add a little bit more water. And there you go, the finished article. The advantage this gives me is if the fish don't like the way that this is presented, I can just chuck it away and start again and try something else rather than mixing everything and being one dimensional. Consistency is key with feeder fishing. Not just how you mix your ground bait, but how you put it in your ground bait, how hard you squeeze it. And I'm going to show you what's been the best today so far. Bait wise, three red maggots has been best. So two correct left through the thick end and one through the thin end. Three dead maggots, a meter tail. And then because I'm fishing maggots on the hook, I do want to put a few through. So I'll just put a dozen or so maggots. Just gently move it around. Most of the fish today have come within two or three minutes of, it, of the feeder hitting the water. So I don't want to squeeze it too hard in the feeder. I want a little bit to come out the meter tail dragging down behind it and I think the fish are coming to the noise and to the free offerings that are falling through the water. So that's how it's been going today. So just cast this out, see if we can catch another one.